French dip skin <clears throat> out in the garage doing a little bit of goofing around tonight <laughs> and I have a uh, I think a pretty exciting uh, mail call and a couple local bring homes to show you guys a um, couple of new powder burners uh, for the collection for the channel and uh, also some some pretty cool air rifle stuff so let's go ahead and get started on this I guess got quite a bit to do and I don't want to keep you guys tied up for too long but uh, got a new uh, piece here for review. Uh, one of the resellers on Amazon reached out to me and asked me to take a look at this for them. So we'll go ahead and uh, just unbox it for today, but we'll be doing a full review on it down the road. Good, bad, or otherwise, we'll let you know. <laughs> look like a pretty neat product uh, I've reviewed similar things like this on the channel before <clears throat> this one is unique that it is a, a red dot or a laser sight and a flashlight uh, simultaneously it is a USB rechargeable here's the USB cord uh, it is mag magnetically uh, coupled to the light. Comes in a really nice little box here. And uh, so here it is. This is the LSS 500. And if you just search for that part number on Amazon, uh, you will find that uh, this device. There's a couple of different devices that ha use the same model well let's see we have a flash uh, oh. so the bottom button is the laser so there i think it's a green yeah, it's green so there's buttons on both sides for the and the upper one's the flashlight and you can have both both of them on at the same time so but man that is bright that flashlight is bright so that'll be pretty cool we'll be doing uh Doing a review on that down the road. Uh, let me set that aside for now. Got a couple of, I think that'll be cool. And uh, got a couple of cool guns with uh, <coughs> Picatinny rail uh, lower. Ooh, come with a, a scratch and win card in here. We'll check that out later too. <laughs> but so that is part of the mail call. Let's uh, talk about the powder burners for a couple minutes now. So this one is one that I picked up at a local shop. Uh, I actually had one of these a few years ago, and I, like a fool, sold it off. But uh, I've always wanted to get another one. But uh, I love my Mossbergs, and uh, this one, it's got a little couple scratches on the butt back here, but that's okay. This is a Mossberg Model 640K which is a 22 Magnum and uh, this one does come with the original magazine so that's pretty cool uh, the last one I had did not have a magazine with it but uh, something I found out and uh, really works well is the magazines that if you have a Savage 93 or need a magazine for one of these you can buy a Savage 93 magazine and uh, they will work fine uh, it does have a dovetail rail on here for an optic, and I definitely will be putting an optic on there. 22 Magnum is no fun with open sights. Uh, so we'll be putting a, probably an old school. This is from probably this late 50s, early 60s. Uh, this vintage, this is an original 640K. Did have a KA, KB, KC, KD. Um, but this is the first revision, I guess you'd call it. Uh, just a 640k so that'll be uh, some fun times on the channel for sure <coughs> and, uh, now the next one I'm I'm really kind of excited about uh, I really do like my uh, military military arms and uh, this one I've already got a couple of Lee Enfields so I've got a, a sporterized mark number four mark 1-3 and 
And this is a fully complete uh, number four Mark One. And it's dated from 1943. And what's really neat about this one, and I don't know if it'll show up on the camera or not, but uh, see how there it is. See how rough that milling is, and that is like that on a lot of the parts on this gun. Late in 1943, they were just trying to get anything they could out the door, and this was like uh, kind of like the the Japanese had their last ditch. Uh, Arasakas, and this was kind of along that same same idea. Um, didn't spend a lot of time milling, smoothing, and just made them safe and made them shoot and get them out the door. So I thought that was really, really cool about this one. Um, all the other ones I have are, are very finely finished, but I like that the fact that this one has that, uh, that last ditch effort for the end of the war big push uh, by the British so it does have the you got a peep sight here that you can use for general shooting or uh, a flip up sight get a little more precision for the shorter shots or you can raise it way up and get uh, long distance shots and it has a uh, hooded uh, protected front sight so really cool a lot of these uh, came from uh, GIs bringing them home and they would have what they call a duffel cut which would be under the barrel band right here and, uh, the, but this one is this one's whole so it doesn't have a duffel cut um, and uh, and it doesn't have any import markings on it either so it's very interesting maybe how to <laughs> how did this one actually end up getting into the uh, the country I'm not sure but uh, very, very little markings on it uh, at all, except for the, the model number, really. And uh, that's pretty cool. So anyway, let's, uh, let's move on, because the last one is, I think, going to be the most exciting. Assuming it, it's a working product, but we have a long, skinny box. This is one uh, since I've gotten into air guns I've kind of been looking out for and I just it's not been available in stock most of the time so when I did find it in stock I, I jumped jumped on the possibility or the Nicely packed. So what we have is a Daisy model 753S. I really would have liked to get the 753 without the S. The S stands for synthetic. Wow. There's another box inside. <laughs> oh, I see. It's a it's a tray. I'll be right back. I believe that box is going to contain our peep sight. It does come with a, some spacers to adjust your length of pull. That's really cool. Um, has a sling. Finish getting this thing. So so what we have here is a really cool daisy designed uh, target shooting gun uh, it has a peep sight in here and a globe to go on the front um, it has a walther walther lother barrel which is 99 percent of the cost of this gun it's not a cheap little target shooter but it is from all accounts that i have seen on it a very very dependable accurate shooter so let's go ahead and open this box up and see what we got in the sight box all kinds of stuff 
What is that? That's all kinds of stuff. So we have a front globe with a round insert in there. I think there's supposed to be, yeah, there's a pack of uh, different inserts. That's very cool. sight globe sight so that's it I think all the rest of that stuff is all mount mounting hardware for the <clears throat> the sling which I'm not too worried about all right. stand by I'm gonna pause this I'm gonna get this stuff all mounted up and then we'll take a few shots with it. So stand by. Okay, I am back with the uh, Daisy 753S. Got the globe mounted up on the front now. And the peep sight all mounted up on the back. Um, I did take one shot with it just to make sure it was actually going to go off. But I did not aim at the target. I have a target on a sp splatter burst target across the garage here. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a shoot a little group with it. See how it does. I don't have my downrange camera out here with me, so I uh, forgot to bring it out, but that's okay. I'll grab the target when we're done. And so this is uh, very much like a, a Daisy 880. Let me cock it back like a Daisy 880. Load in a single 177 pellet, and then it uh, has a pump arm like an 880, but this is a single stroke pneumatic so one pump and uh, it says up to 550 feet per second we'll test that uh, theory out down the road yeah. not very far off from being right in the center of the target already Uh, just a tiny bit low and left, but uh, we'll, we'll shoot for a group and see how it goes. Not bad, almost the exact, just made the hole a little bit bigger. I think this will give my uh, AR-2078 a run for its money. <laughs> All right, same hole again. I'll grab that target in a second here when we're done with these last two. You guys know I like my single stroke pneumatics, and I really have wanted one of these for quite a while, so. That one went right in the center of the target. <laughs> it does sound like it's got some pretty good snap to it, though. All right, that's pretty cool. I think it will need a couple of these, uh, one or two of these spacers in there for me to... Get the length to pull out a little bit more, but uh, this is definitely, it's enough gun to keep a, a, a grown-up <laughs> happy and having fun, but uh, I think it's uh, manageable for a youth too, and it's not very heavy, so that is pretty cool, pretty darn cool. Let me go grab that target real quick. Here's what I shot. So four of the five went right into this hole right here. And then I, I flinched one up here into the center of the target. That is annoying when you flinch them up into the center of the target. But uh, <laughs> that is, uh, that's pretty awesome. That's, that is good offhand shooting right there. Um, so that's uh, the second gun that I have that has a Walther Lothar barrel. The other one is my... Crossman silhouette. <laughs> uh, 
but uh, some really good shooting. Budget friendly, really budget friendly. I mean, this was the whole thing of this was the barrel, <laughs> but uh, it, it wasn't cheap like a Daisy 880. Let me tell you that, but uh, I think it's going to be worth it. A lot of fun. Nice trigger, too. Very nice trigger. So, anyway, <laughs> this mail call went a lot longer than they normally do, but uh, we're having fun, and uh, that's what it's all about, right? Stay tuned for a lot more videos on all of this stuff, but uh, really cool mail call. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, have a great day.